Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Now we need to look at the tools that we'll use to modify the clip art that we've inserted. The two main tools that we have to use to do our picture modifications are the picture toolbar and the format picture dialog box. You can view the picture toolbar by simply clicking on a clip. If it does not appear, you can choose view toolbars and picture to turn it on. This toolbar contains many buttons that we use to control the appearance of our clip art. Let's look at the buttons and what happens when we click them. Now if you click the leftmost button, which is called insert picture, it brings up the insert pictures from file dialog box. And here you can select graphics to insert from your computer's file system. If you select a clip and click the image control button, it displays a drop-down choice of four settings for your graphic. They are automatic, grayscale, black and white, and washout. In previous versions, washout was called watermark. Automatic is the default choice, and this just shows the graphic using its original colors. Choosing grayscale shows the picture in grayscale, which is a more colorful version of black and white that uses shades of gray to create a more realistic picture without actually using any color. Selecting actual black and white will translate the, com the color image to a strictly black and white object. Choosing watermark or washout turns the image into a watermark, basically fading it. So you could set this as the background of a slide and place text over it. Watermark basically mutes the original colors. Note that if you choose automatic for a color image and then washout or watermark, you get a color watermark. However, if before going straight from automatic, you had chosen either grayscale or black and white first, and then chose washout or watermark, you would get a black and white watermark. So it's got some interesting behavior there. You can change the contrast of your graphic by repeatedly clicking the More Contrast button to increase contrast or less contrast, which increases the gray, reducing contrast between the colors in the image. You can also click more brightness to add more white to the graphic, or less brightness to increase the dark in the graphic. You can click the crop button, which places cropping handles around the perimeter of your image and you can put your mouse pointer over one of those cropping handles which turns it into a cropping tool and then click and drag inward to crop out elements of the image that you do not wish. So here if we didn't want to see the background of that we can just crop it away. Note because it's digital you can also click and drag outward after cropping to restore the image. It's not permanently deleted. And when you're finished cropping, just click the Crop tool to turn it off. In the 2003 and XP only, you can click the Rotate Left button to rotate the picture to the left each time that you click it. This function has existed since 97, but it's located on the Picture Toolbar only in the 2003 and XP versions. Clicking the Line Style button allows you to select a border from the drop-down menu of Line Widths. In 2003 and XP, you can click the Compress Pictures button to select whether or not to compress one or more pictures in your document. And this is usually only done for graphics that are intended for web page display, as smaller graphic files tend to load faster. You can click the Recolor Picture button if it's a drawing-based or more of a cartoon appearance clip art and that will allow you to change the colors and accents in the clip. This does not work for images that are pixel based like photographs. Those types of graphics have to be edited using a picture editing application such as Photoshop. You can click the format picture button to launch the format picture dialog box. This allows you to set all of the aspects of your graphic and it's basically 
got the same options that we have in our picture toolbar. So brightness, contrast, color, cropping, compressing, recoloring. Just another tool that we can use to change our graphics. If you have a pixel-based graphic versus, say, a cartoon-type graphic, then you can click Set Transparent Color. This one, when clicked, allows you to put your mouse pointer over a color in the graphic and click it to make it transparent, basically knocking that color out of the graphic. Clicking the Reset Picture button at the far right end of the picture toolbar resets the picture back to its original state. This is like the undo button for a graphic. It changes the graphic back to the way it looked when you originally inserted it into the document. You can also modify the properties of clip art and inserted pictures using the Format Picture dialog box versus the Picture Toolbar if you prefer. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!